And what a daunting task for Tuki Toussaint tonight as he makes his season debut against a team that's number one in hits in the National League. So as I said, a daunting task when you're making your first start in the big leagues of the season. Tuki in his career in the big leagues with the Braves, six and three, but a very high ERA, just under six. He has faced the Padres before, that was quite a while ago, and it was only for an inning or so in relief. And on the ground, Freddie Freeman will handle Grisham with ease, and that's how our game starts. And Tukey blew him away. 96 inside corner, three pitches, and Tatis is retired. Missed his location a little bit, but still blew it by Tatis. Sharply hit, but into the shift, and Riley is going to take care of Cronenworth. Tukey, welcome back to the show. Now Monte looking to raise that 223 batting average. Hammered into the right field corner. That's going to get down for extra bases. Almonte flies around first. He's on his way to second. He'll stand there with a two out double. Hammered left field. That's down for a base hit. Tommy Pham comes up around third. Almonte throw to the plate. Cut off into second safely. It's one nothing Atlanta. Heredia jumps on the first pitch. Yeah, as good as he's been with two strikes, not so good on the first pitch of an at-bat. And for a team like the Braves that loves to swing at the first pitch, the Braves won that battle there. Good base running by Heredia, too, to go on the, to go on the throw to second base, get into scoring position. Picked at third by Machado, up and throwing in plenty of time. Nice play by Manny Machado down there in third base for out number two. Swanson spins on this one, and the short hop hit so hard, plenty of time to spin and throw. It's worth another look. That's one of those in-between hops. That is not an easy play. But guess who makes it look easy? Manny Machado. So Machado will stand in with a runner on first, one away. Padres down 1 0 in the top of the fourth. And Freddie Freeman and Jay Cronenworth over at first base. This one is lined down the left field line, and it's going to be a fair ball. Right up against the wall as Cronenworth will get to third base. To second with a double goes Manny Machado. Second and third with one out. Fly ball left field. Del Monte will make the catch. Tagging at third is Cronenworth. Here comes the throw. It is cut off, and the Padres have tied the game. Sack fly for Tommy Pham ties it up one to one. He has struck out Tatis and got him to pop up. Yeah, I like that right there. Tatis has been aggressive. And that's hammered to third. Riley handles a sinking line drive that Tatis smoked. Yeah, you see Freddie's numbers since June the 1st. Phenomenal across the board. Second in the National League with 53 hits since June the 1st. Just set down 11 of the last 12 as Freddie hits one a mile high toward left. Fan going back at 375. He's not going to get it. Freddie Freeman goes opposite field, and the Braves take the lead. Looks like Darvish went with the fastball there, and... Didn't get it where he wanted it. Outside corner, but thigh high instead of knee high. And left-handed hitters like that pitch. Up over there. Well, we've got a close game here, so it's uh, it's crunch time for the bullpen now as Darvish exits. Nice. That is strike three. Nicely done by Tim Hill. And Tim Hill out of the bullpen doing work once again as he strands a couple of inherited runners. Let's see if Tyler Matzik can take care of Jerks and Profar. The Padres have a two out rally here back to back singles. You got to be careful here. Fly ball shallow center Heredia says he's got it and he does. Woo. San Diego strands two. It's time for the stretch. Three defenders between second base and third base. Yeah, like I said, it would stand to reason that they're going to pound them in with sliders and fastballs, but we'll see. On the ground, who wants it? Ozzy backhand fires, and the Braves win it. This was a major league ball game. 
Great timely hitting from that man, Freddie Freeman.